Why, why, would, why would that be? I would like you to tell me. You want to act like a child. I'm not acting what like a child. What point are you trying to prove? I just want to get to my destination. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sam, otherwise known as Sneerix from TikTok. Now today, we have a real life Karen who has caused problems for people on an airplane. We're gonna break that video down today and react to it. Let's jump into it. Hi. Hi there. How are you? Looks like security has already been called on this woman, so there's clearly been some sort of activity causing someone to have to call security on her. No, I didn't say that. I never said that. You're not wearing one now. No, because I'm actively drinking I have an apple and a banana right here. Yeah. You're gonna have the whole plane to ride to eat and you probably had time on the way, probably had time waiting for the plane to eat. Why do you need to eat right this second unless you're just doing it to be difficult? Why Why? Would, why would that be? I was told I'm gonna make that you I, I would like you to tell me what my what the if you're causing problems before the plane even took off, they don't want to deal with you when you're however many miles in the air. So at this point, they're just like, you're already a problem, get off the plane. That's what I was told on my last plane and I sat next to a plane. <laughs> She's claiming that she sat next to a pilot on another flight and they told her something that must apply to every single, <laughs> every single plane ride in the universe. I don't know if she realizes this, but there are such things as like private pilots who just fly planes because they enjoy doing it. It's not necessarily like a commercial flight. So I'm not really sure why she thinks this is a valid argument at this point, but let's keep going. I would like for you to tell me why you're asking me to do this. I'm gonna ask you to get out of the room. We'll do with you after he brings up. If you need, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? If we don't take a stand now, you're not telling me what that's for. Right? That's not, that's not an option. You know what? If they need to handle it, they can handle it. You're on a flight. You're going to some destination. Maybe it's home. Maybe it's to visit someone. Maybe it's for like a funeral. Whatever you're flying for, I'm sure it's something that's, you know, necessary, kind of important to an extent. So I just don't understand who has the time, first of all, to argue this. Second of all, to sit there and be like, yeah, go ahead and get the police involved. Go ahead. Yeah, that's fine. Other passengers are yelling at her and she's just sitting there laughing and smiling because obviously she's probably feels like an idiot so her defense mechanism is to just be like, I don't care. Do you drive on the wrong side of the road? No. Okay, guys, it's a rule. Do you guys put the mask go with, on. Do you guys go with everything? I, put I don't put the mask problem. on. I don't have a problem putting the mask on. She's sitting here now arguing with other passengers who are mad because now she's delaying their flight, single-handedly delaying their flight. She just was like, I don't mind wearing a mask, but I won't wear one now because, because, because why? Now he wants me to get off no matter what. So, so what do you do? Yes, because you are on an airplane. If you don't follow the rules, you get kicked out. Just like if you come to my house and you act a fool and I asked you to leave, that's my right because it's my house. You don't get like a million chances just because you're, you know, entitled. Okay, Charlie, we have what? Aircraft. Now there's an announcement being made and I'm kind of nervous to see what they're gonna make everyone else do now that this woman is refusing to get off the plane. Okay, we have to take everyone off the airplane. Oh, are you serious? Are you kidding me? This woman is sitting here trying so hard to just be like poker face about the whole thing and just be like, wow, look, this is what the airplane is doing to you. This is what these people are doing to you. Obviously, if they had to get security to come over, they had already asked her several times. So it's not like this was just bombarded on her. She had no idea and was like, oh my God, let me put the mask on. Clearly, it escalated to the point where they were like, you need to get off the plane. Are you kidding me? Literally, you are holding me up for what I have to do. Look, every single person on this plane is looking at her and is so mad. At this point, it's more about just compliance and literally just following instructions on an aircraft than anything else. And this woman is flat out refusing to do that. So consequences occur for people that don't do what they're supposed to do. I don't know why this is something new for her. As a child, you know, you learn don't touch the stove if it's hot or you'll get burned. And this woman is directly putting her fingers on the stove and being like, I can't believe the stove is burning me. I can't believe Can you believe this? Because you want to act like a child. I'm not acting what like a child. What point are you trying to prove? You have to leave your item. We have a stand. No. <laughs> No, I just want to get to my destination. This is not important. Yes, you're standing with me. Yeah. Yeah. You're about to stand you're up and leave. We have history stand. We have people in history stand. I hope they let you fly because we're going to get out when we get to Long Beach. Right. I hope they let you fly. You know what? That's 
<laughs> now she's getting threatened to pretty much get her ass beat once they land the plane. If I was on this plane, I would be really grateful that this woman is standing up to her and saying something because I don't know if I would say something unless everyone else had already started saying something and I was like, okay, now I feel comfortable to also raise my voice. But this woman is standing up for everyone on the plane right now and just being like, f you. Oh my God. God. That's, that's not on me. Yes, it is. It yeah, is it on is. you. Very you can blame who you want. She deliberately just caused an evacuation of an entire plane. This is the same type of woman who, if her child got in trouble for like bullying at school, she would sit there and defend them and blame it on every other kid. Hey, it's not on me. It's just that we can take Okay, everyone, if you calm the right? off, there's leaders stuck in your seat, you'll get the same seat when you get back on. Right. She's just sitting here smiling at everyone. I honestly, this woman, I hope she does, isn't allowed to get back on this plane, honestly. It is with unveiled faces we proclaim his name. That's all I gotta say. Is she saying like religious things now? We gotta stand for something. Stand for something on your own time. You didn't pay for nobody's flight. You didn't do anything. Don't want to take off her mask. I'm so mad. You know what? I like to see because they have to remove her mask. Train. This poor guy sitting next to her has his mask on and he's just like watching this whole thing and then looking out the window and he's just like, why do I always get stuck next to this woman? He hasn't said a word to her. He has not intervened at all in this. He's just sitting there watching this whole thing happen. What? Thank you. Thank you. Hey, my board, my says thank you. According to the CDC, if a person refuses to wear a face mask while on public transportation, the operator must disembark the person at the earliest safe opportunity. On a plane, that would be at the next airport. But if the plane is still on the tarmac, the pilot could bring it to the terminal. Even if they had been moving, it says that they have the right to literally turn the plane around and not take off. So it's very clearly stated anywhere that you look, even when you get to the airport, when you're on the plane, they reiterate the rules every single time. So if you are still somebody that is combative over wearing a mask on a plane, I would just highly suggest not flying, maybe just drive yourself because is this really worth it? Is this really worth inconveniencing every single other person that's just trying to get to their destination, man? And once again, I don't understand who has time to, to go through this. It's very strange. What do you guys think about this Karen situation? I honestly think this woman should just be not allowed to fly for at least a few months or just some sort of like probation period. Next time she does, she should be on one of those like watch very closely lists. When she gets there and has to go through security, they should have to lecture her about expectations at the airport, which I guess they would have to, you know, take time away from their own job to lecture a woman about following instructions. So maybe that would just be ridiculous. But of course, people can have a bad day. That's always justified that, you know, you have a bad day. But when you're affecting everybody else to the point where people are literally having to get off the flight or everyone else is just saying, we don't stand with you on this. Like you are solo in your little protest here, which if you need to protest, fine. Maybe don't do it when you're inconveniencing every single other person. You're not causing any sort of progress or making a stand when every single other person is mad at you and they're not going to change their ways because they just saw what's going to happen if they don't comply. Anyways, guys, <laughs> thank you for watching this video with me. If you have any other Karen videos you want me to react to or any videos in general, make sure that you do send them to me through my email and I will see you next time. I appreciate you for being here. Bye.